Hey guys, it's Tuesday, which means it's another episode of Tommy Likes It on the Rogue Toys YouTube channel. I'm your host, Tommy Purr, and this is the first post-birthday episode of Tommy Likes It. I'm 35, and I feel it all over my body, <laughs> but that's not going to stop me from collecting toys or from doing this show. And this is a toy review show where we talk about the toys that interest me and the toys that I hope interest you. So today's a great day. I finally got to hit the gym on my day off because it's been closed in my apartment complex. So I'm wearing my favorite gym attire, which is my Cynthia from Rugrats tank top. And yes, it says 90s girl on her own tank top. And I love this shirt. If you would like to purchase your own, I found it on eBay. Just type it into eBay. It was like 20 bucks. It's really soft and I've had it for years. It's amazing. With that being said, we are taking a look at another doll. I wore this tank top because we are reviewing, for the first time ever, a Barbie on Tommy Likes It. Malibu Barbie. That's right, the first quote unquote girls toy to be on Tommy Likes It for the Rogue Toys YouTube channel. This is amazing. I'm a Barbie collector, people who know me. Uh, I'm not a crazy Barbie collector. I have a hutch full of dolls, like some Rainbow High, uh, some Collector Barbies, uh, Monster High, things like that, some Star Wars dolls. And um, I got into Barbie thanks to my mom. She was a big Barbie collector uh, back when she was a teenager, and I'm pretty sure she had the original Malibu Barbie. But I have never personally had Malibu Barbie in my own collection. Malibu Barbie. The nightmare. The nerd. This is, of course, not the original. There's no way in hell Steve was going to let me take the original out of the store, which we don't have an original one. This is a reissue from 2008. Uh, the original came out in 1971, and she's just so beautiful. This box is amazing, and yes, I am going to keep the box. I'm not going to keep her in the box. I am going to just keep the box and put it in the hutch and put her in front of it because look at the look at the detail here. It's so nice. It's a nice yellow color, a nice window display. And you have all these like little um, uh, they're not pamphlets, but like these little these little cards that show you all of the original Barbie products from back in the day. It's an amazing, amazing doll. Uh, Mint on Card collectors will be really happy to have her in their collection. She ranges for about 65 on the low end to 85, 90 on the high end on the secondary market. Uh, when she came out, she was $50, and I regret never purchasing her then, but I'm glad that I have her now. It's so great. So I consider this like my little birthday gift from Rogue Toys. So thank you, Steve. <laughs> so let's go ahead, let's open her up, and let's take a closer look, shall we? So I totally feel like I'm on Pee Wee's Playhouse, right? Like at any moment, any guests could just drop by um, since it is like a, a week after my birthday, almost. Yeah, like six days after my birthday. Um, I've been getting packages. So I know this is Tommy Likes It, and as you can see, I'm unboxing Barbie right now and getting her all prepared for her review. I just got a knock on my door and I just got this delivered to me. And I know like four friends have sent me something via mail. So I don't know who this is from because it just says it's from Kentucky. Um, and I don't have any friends in Kentucky that I know of. So we're gonna open this for a live reaction. So surprise! Find out what this is. It's clearly a shirt. Um, and I'm assuming it's from my friend Joey. And so let's see here. I can't read it. I like this bag. It's very body bag material. If this is an inappropriate shirt, I will bleep it out. <laughs> what is this? Because that's so Joey. Joey would do that. I kind of, I love that shirt. This is such good material too. Oh wow. Hopefully it fit into it. It's a large, it should fit into this. Oh my God, I love that shirt. Okay, so this could be from Joey, but it could also be from my friend Chanel. So whoever sent this to me for my birthday, there's no card or anything, but thank you. And this is amazing. This is so, so good. Thank you so much. Okay, here we are with Malibu Barbie out of the box. Now normally I do like close-ups. I'm trying to do something a little bit different. Um, this way you can kind of see my reactions to things that I see on the doll um, or on the toy in general. So if you like this format better, um, I hate when you can't see the reviewers and what they look like and kind of like their facial expressions when they're reviewing something because that kind of says all you need to know. <laughs> but Barbie comes with like five points of articulation. Well, actually six. So you have the head, obviously, the arms, you know, and um, they don't move out. This is like standard um, 
old school Barbie articulation. She has, it's the rubbery legs too, like the hot dog legs. So that's what's amazing. Um, they do bend at the knee, they crack at the knee, which is amazing. The new ones don't do that anymore. You know, uh, arms go up, legs go up, legs go back. And then this is when they added the waist articulation for Barbie. So she can beach boogie. Look at that. She's just, ooh, 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 just dancing. I love this doll. Um, it's so simple. It's so effective in its simplicity. Um, and I think a lot of people forget that. You don't have to go big or go home every time. You know, you don't have to be extra all the time. I know we as a society are used to that now, but look at just how understated and simple this doll is. And it's one of my favorites. The hair is nice and soft. She's got this beautiful sun-kissed tan going on. And the face is just so, so easy, so simple. I'm sorry if it's not focusing properly, but it's just so, Beautiful, like very Marsha Brady. Not too much makeup, just enough. Sure, Jan. And it's it's great. You know, they didn't try to make it hyper-realistic back in the day. They weren't able to make it hyper-realistic, so it, it benefited, you know? It benefited the doll. The bathing suit, I love. I love this one piece. It's so classic. It's so nice. The material is really, really well done as well. It's constructed beautifully, and I love the color. I am a sucker for pastel blue, baby blue, royal blue, teal, turquoise, you name it. Uh, Cerulean, that whole scene in Devil, War Devil Wars Prada, I was like, you go Meryl Streep. It's not just blue, it's not turquoise, it's not lapis, it's actually cerulean. <laughs> On the back here, the bathing suit is open in the back, which I never knew. And I think that's really cool, that is so nice. Uh, again, the hair, amazing. The doll comes with a doll stand, which I love. I love when figures, toys, dolls, they come with stands, because my stuff is always getting knocked over. I have two cats, I have a rambunctious nephew, I'm a klutz with sausage fingers, it happens. So the stand is packaged in the back of the box um, behind all of the inserts. She also comes with these like these cards that you saw in the front um, showing you the old products for Barbie and they have little bios. We'll, we'll look closer at that and we'll read them because this is like a time capsule, honey. Oh my God. And I know you're like, wow, Tommy, you're super fun boy this episode. I told Steve it was gonna get gay. <laughs> the, the, the super gay me is coming out. I love Barbie. This has me so excited. We're not gonna wait till the end of the video. This, this doll gets a perfect 10 on the perfect 10 scale. One to 10, perfect 10. Let's just give her a 12, okay? For the first time ever, we have a 12 on the perfect 10 scale. I don't care. If you don't like it, make your own videos. <laughs> um, accessory wise, she comes with, and this is this is hard because um, this outfit is so amazing. Um, I think I was born in the wrong era. I really should have been in the 70s or 80s. Um, but look at how pretty this is. These are so well made as well. It's sheer, it's yellow. I usually don't like yellow. When I wear yellow, it makes me look like I have jaundice. Um, <laughs> And as a, an Asian man, I should stay away from yellow too. It's just a little too on the nose. Um, but the embroidery on the waist, the ribbon, everything's nice. It's it's thick. Be careful if you're opening it. Um, they are uh, tethered into the inserts of the box, so cut it very carefully. You don't want to pull it out and risk ripping it because it's really, really nice. We are going to put her in this outfit and see what she looks like. She also comes with a yellow panty because this is sheer and see-through. And I don't believe... Yeah, this doll does not have molded on underwear like a lot of the dolls in like the 90s and beyond had. And she also comes with these little kitten heels. Look how cute that is. It's nice and molded, it's all yellow. And this does kind of go with her bathing suit too. So if you want to put some shoes on when you walk down the beach, you can. Really cute there. I'm much more of a stiletto fan myself. That's actually my favorite sound is hearing a woman or a guy or anyone in stilettos walking along a hardwood floor. I love that, that authority step. I'm like, yes, that sounds so cool. But the shoes are cute. And then she comes with her little, her terry cloth beach towel, which feels so nice. So I gotta hide this from my cats because they'll probably sleep on it or cuddle with it and make it their baby. They love stuff like this, but it's nice and soft and it does fold out, so you can, uh, oh, it's kinda, oh, it's tethered, closed right there, so I gotta cut that real quick. Boop, I don't wanna rip it. Boop, there we go. So you can like lay this out for photos, and they can rest on it and sunbathe, and that's cute. 
Now let's go ahead and uh, put her in the yellow outfit. Let's put her in the yellow outfit and see what she looks like in that. And I, I'm gonna have a dilemma. What, which outfit do I display her in? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I never said I was a fashion connoisseur. Um, hello, I'm wearing a Cynthia tank top that I bought from eBay. Uh, <laughs> this, this is fashion. This is a look. She's serving it. I absolutely love this, which is sad because the, the teal baby blue bathing suit is so iconic, but this is such a cute look. It's, it's, it's definitely late 60s, early 70s. She's so pretty, but what I also noticed for you toy collectors out there, when I was undressing the doll on her back, it says 1966 Mattel. So for you who are who are collectors, just be careful if you're buying a loose one on the secondary market and someone's trying to pass it off as the original because even the reissued body says 1966, which is weird because the box says 1971, like that was the era year. So I'm kind of like, make up your mind, but it doesn't matter. <clears throat> this doll is beautiful. She's a 12 on the perfect 10 scale. I love her. The glasses are cute. The outfit is cute. I hate yellow, but I love this look. Um, the panties were the hardest thing to get on the body. I may take them off because it's not easy to get them on and I noticed that there was a tear in the crotch already. Uh, like the seams came undone even before I was putting the outfit on. Um, but oh my god, it's so, like I have to get like a different Barbie and put her in this outfit because this outfit's too cute to not put on display. But she looks good, you guys. She looks great. This is this, everything about this doll, from the packaging to the outfit to the little uh, reproduced pamphlets is amazing. Now, speaking of the pamphlets, let's go ahead and take a closer look and take like a little fa flashback tour of Memory Lane. Well, I don't know what I just said. Um, ooh. Let's go ahead and take a trip down Memory Lane. Let's take part in a flashback and look at some of the old Barbie products, shall we? Oh my goodness, that is a look. That is the Barbie Beauty Center. What does it say on the back? Do you remember this Barbie doll head? It was a complete beauty center, complete with 20 hair care and cosmetic items. The super cute head, uh, that's, you know, subjective, was practically life-size and made for hours of hairdo and makeup fun, featuring a ponytail that grew when tugged. The golden hair could be set and styled with rollers, bobby pins, rubber bands, barrettes, ribbons, brush, and comb. Makeup included eyelashes, blusher, lip gloss, and eyeshadow. A neckband completed the styling head. Today, we would just call this a drag queen head. I mean, come on, look, look at that. Look at that. Barbie's townhouse. I'm pretty sure that my mom had this. Uh, she would rave about all the sets that she had. Look at that elevator. Look at that elevator. Who designed this place? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's hard to believe that this stuff is coming back in style. Barbie doll and friends have always loved city living in high style. In 1974, the Barbie townhouse was the dream dollhouse for most girls and gay boys. Three and a half feet tall, the beautiful modern house featured colorfully decorated rooms and pretty sturdy furniture. And the feature that thrilled Barbie lovers everywhere, a working elevator. Where's the hot tub though? Come on Barbie, get your priorities straight. Barbie's beach bus. Ah, look how cool Ken looks. His head looks really big though. Who's, who that? Oh my God, is that, is that Carol Ann from the Poltergeist? Now we know where she went after she got sucked into the closet. She went to the beach. <clears throat> From hometown Willows, Wisconsin to beautiful Malibu, California, Barbie traveled in style. Groovy features of the 1974 Barbie Beach Bus included pop, uh, pop art imagery of colorful waves and rainbows, a super cool sunroof, and a back panel that opened to reveal a kitchenette. Because, you know, Barbie always has to cook someone a meal, whatever. All right, you know? Uh, this was the perfect van for Barbie doll and Ken doll to go on California beach adventures. I was not aware they were from Willows, Wisconsin, which would explain why Trixie Mattel draws so much of her inspiration from Barbie. That makes sense now. Wisconsin, really? I just always pegged Barbie as a California girl, you know? But that's cool. I, I'm a Barbie fan. I never even knew that. And that van looks so dope. The world of Barbie, oh my gosh, you guys. Reproduction booklet, oh, this is gonna be so cool. 
Uh, quick curl, magic hair, curl it instantly, easily, change styles in seconds, curls without setting, wetting, or waiting, dolls sold separately. Skipper, Francie, Kelly, Barbie. Oh, yeah, those are looks. Those are Miss America Barbie, used under license for Miss America pageant. Okay, wow, oh my goodness. Oh, my mom has been wanting me to get her this doll, but I can never find him with the beard pieces, and he is amazing. Mod Hair Ken. Changes look again and again, quickly, easily, add a beard, sideburns, or two of, or one of two mustaches. Wow, that is very, uh, it's very, very much like uh, an, an adult film stash. <laughs> Barbie Hair Originals, five pretty pin-on hair pieces with accessories for styling. Blonde, brunette, or auburn. Wow, okay. So basically hair extensions and weaves. Got it. Quick Curl Boutique, case opens to boutique for hours of, uh, I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses on, for hours of hair styling fun. The Sunset by Mattel. Oh, get it, the sun set, got it. Posable dolls, love sand and surf, sunglasses and beach towel included, dolls sold separately. Malibu Skipper, okay, so it's not Carol Ann, it's Malibu Skipper, same difference. Uh, Malibu Barbie, Malibu Ken, Malibu PJ, yay! And Malibu Francie. Barbie's Country Camper features slide out door, steering wheel, front window that opens to, includes camping gear, dolls not included, that's cute. Barbie's Camp Out Tent, Barbie and Friends Camp and Style includes camping gear, dolls not included. Oh my god, now I know why my mom was obsessed. This is, oh my gosh, it's a flight! It's a, it's an airplane! Barbie's Friend Ship. Realistic United Airlines interior design opens to over four and a half feet, which I think is like almost just as tall as my tag team partner Paradise. <laughs> From Compact Flight Bag. Airline accessories include stewardess smock, dolls not included. Barbie going camping set. Barbie and friends are ready for a weekend in the mountains, desert, or at the beach. Uh, oh, so I read that completely wrong. Are ready for a weekend in the mountains, the desert, or at the beach. Breezy buggy re really rolls. Tent trailer closes up for towing. Complete camping gear included. Dolls sold separately. I love that buggy. Oh my god. Uh, Barbie's country living home. Big three room rustic dollhouse with furniture. Doors open and close. It's a carry case when closed. Dolls not included. Oh my, all those colors, I, I'm having a seizure right now. <laughs> I love the concept though. Barbie surprise house. Real growing plants surround this fun house. Three big rooms and three patios. Furniture and gardening tools, dolls not included. This I love, I love clothing packs. Barbie get up and go. Uh, Barbie get ups and go. Ready to meet the world as a United Airlines stewardess, a ballerina, or doctor. And for fun time camping out gear, Fit Kelly and PJ2, dolls sold separately. Wow, I like this look because that reminds me of um, of um, Penny from Dirty Dancing when she's uh, teaching Baby how to dance. Um, that's a great look right there, real simple. I'm, I'm not fond of these other looks, but I love this surgeon. Uh, the scrub outfit, that is cute. That is some Grey's Anatomy stuff right there, I love it. Ken get ups and go. Ken on the go, a United Airlines pilot, a doctor, a safari adventurer, or camper. Dolls sold separately. I love all those looks, all of them. I think the, my favorite though is the, the surgeon and the, um, the pilot. Skipper, no one, no one cares, Skipper. Get ups and go, I don't need to read that, we know. Hideous, all of this, hideous. What is she, Heidi? She Gretel from Hansel and Gretel there? What's going on, what's 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 that hat? No, you're, no, no, you're canceled. Francie, get ups and go. Francie, either your face isn't much, but I like this outfit, that's cute. I like this plaid, oh, oh, with flippers, oh. I do like this little old school nurse outfit, that's cute. Barbie, Best Buy Fashions, oh. I honestly think the only one I like is this one right here. It's very Marsha Brady. It would look really cute on this Malibu Barbie. Barbie Best Buy Fashions again. Uh, no. Um, I do, I kind of want to see this one in person because that looks like there could be potential. Barbie Best Buy Fashions again. Um, no. Oh, you know what though? I kind of live for this power suit with the with the fur or feather trim, I can't tell what it is, but the trim there, I kinda live for that. This one's okay. Ken's Fashions, oh, okay, I kinda like this Speed Racer-esque outfit. That's cute. Francie, no. 
No, Francie. Just stop, Francie. Stop trying to make it happen. Skipper, why bother? Um, shoes and boots, oh, those are all cute. Those are nice. And then there's the head again, the drag queen head. A sewing machine. Sew Magic Deluxe Kit. This is, this is actually cute. You know, kids should learn how to like sew and create things. I'm horrible. I'm just jealous and bitter because I don't know how to sew and my mom tried to teach me and I was like, uh, I'd rather pay someone else to do this. <laughs> but this is, wow, this is everything. I love things like this. Maybe we'll do a whole other episode where we just go through old catalogs and judge things because I like that. So, so here is Barbie sitting here and she just looks so pretty and I'm so glad to have her in my collection finally, and it was prob she's probably one of my favorite things of 2021 so far. So hopefully the rest of the year is just as perfect as she is. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if I got overly excited and flamboyant. Actually, I'm not sorry. I love it. Show passion for what you enjoy, and who cares what anyone has to say about it. If you like Barbies, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you don't like Barbies, don't worry. I'm sure we'll have something for you to enjoy next week on Tommy Likes It. And thank you guys for tuning in yet again. Be sure to also check out the Rogue Toys Facebook page and tune in every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to check out the Facebook Live Claim Show starring the toy experts Crystal and Steve. And finally, follow me on social media. You can find me on Twitter at rareform, R-A-W-R underscore form. You can find me on Instagram at the underscore man underscore diva. You can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com backslash officially perfect. And if you'd also like to purchase Tommy Purr merchandise, check out my store on storefrontier.com backslash merchandise. And once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. Be sure to stay catty, and we'll see you next Tuesday.